Praise him. Good boy. There. Good now boy. go back. Now stop. Ah, there we go. And now walk again. And again, stop. Oh, good. Learning. Excellent. Good boy. All right. Now you walk. And again, remember, if he makes a mistake, you got to stay loose. Quick, sharp, snap, snap, and then you stop. Very good. And stop. Very good. Now we're somewhere. All right, let's walk a little bit. No, no, don't say Toro. You're leaving, right? It doesn't matter if there's a dog there. You're leaving. If he stays there and you you feel that pressure, you give it a walk by. Stop. There we go. Now he has a choice. And walk again. Right there, right there. I would have killed him for that. No! No. He got much, much too loose. Don't cut him. Much too loose. Look, he showed all that reactivity there. That even though he didn't go full, full reactive, now he's aroused. Look at the tail, look at the back hair. Good. And he's sensitive now from that big one I gave him in there. He kind of is a little bit wise to me, but he still might. See, this behavior is okay. That's not. Why are you pulling me? You're pulling me because you're thinking about that dog and not me. But that suppression. If I punish him, and he acts like a Terminator taking a bullet. I did nothing. I haven't achieved anything, right? Let's go past this dog. I want you to watch me how I manage him. Throw the ball. Why are you showing that level of arousal towards that dog? It's not okay, right? Good. That's nice. That's a good boy, right? I'm showing him that there's two possibilities, right? Any kind of arousal, because look, he's on zero tolerance right now. Some, like obviously the dog didn't have a history of like, you know, reactive behavior like he does. We'd say, okay, you know, he's a little excited, whatever, whatever. But because he has the history that he has, any kind of reactive or arousal generated towards another dog, excitement towards another dog, no punish, right? This is okay, this is curiosity. What's she doing? But look at his body language. He's a little bit unsure, like, am I, what am I allowed to do here? And I'm showing him what he's allowed to do. You're allowed to look. You're allowed, right? You're allowed to be around the dog. We're allowed to do a lot of things. You're just not allowed to generate arousal towards her. Straight, 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 stop. Praise him. Good boy, good boy. See, he's not that bad, he's, he's a smart guy. Like, yep. he's like, Okay, no one's quite put it to me like this. All right, makes sense, right? You can see he wants to do the right thing. Yeah. Miles an hour. <laughs> Stop walking. Good. And go back up. Go back again. Go back again. Good. Back, back, back. Good. And we stop. Praise him. Very good. Okay. And now hands off, just ignore him. And let him think about it. Just walk around in a circle in here. This is a hard place. Echoes, dogs running, all the things that amp them up. Yeah, there you go, stop walking. Right there. Oh boy, crazy. He's making good decisions. And when he grabs it, encourage him. Take the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball.
So the next piece that we want to go, and just don't let them get behind you in that, that way that you can't see them. There you go. And stop there. Good. Now, I want you to say, good boy, take the ball out. Yeah, Tom, take it and just make it, try to encourage him. Yeah, let him win. Let him win. Yeah. So play. Play. Yes, let him win. Let him win. And yes, don't play too hard because it's a lot for him right now. Good. Good job. Stop walking. Praise him. Good boy. Now show him the ball. Oh, he's good. He can. He can do any of it because he's really not that bad. He just. To be honest, the reactive behavior is somewhat rewarding for him. Yeah, he's a little bit, sometimes a little bit insecure, right? Hey, hey, hey. He's not allowed to sniff yet. He hasn't earned that right. He'll get there, but not yet, right? Um, the reactive behavior is somewhat reinforcing for him. So he gets he gets off on, on being a little bit reactive. It's not just you know an, an insecurity thing for him. He's also getting off on it a little bit and he gets off on the reaction that it creates in the other dog and the people and everything else. So that's why we have to make it very unsatisfactory for him to do that, right? As you can see, he's not too worried about other dogs. No. He's just a bit of an ass, right? So now he's learning. He's like, oh, yes. But he learns, I demand this, you will behave around other dogs. There is no other possibility. And I'm gonna put you, like, I'll put you right here. And you can pick a good choice or a bad choice. All right, let's go, my friend.